everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your full body dumbbell circuit workout. So we're gonna be working your entire body using just a set of dumbbells, and this is gonna get both cardio to really blast fat and burn calories, and strength to really sculpt and tone those muscles. So all you need for this workout is a set of dumbbells, and we're just gonna be doing one move at a time in each circuit for 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. So unlike other videos where we have a lot of compound movement, we're just gonna do one at a time. So it certainly can be a tough workout, but also if you're new to working with dumbbells, this video really breaks it down so you can really learn the moves. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna start with just a quick little warm up. So just marching, roll through the shoulders and bring them to the front. So we're just getting our muscles warm, getting the blood flowing. We call this a dynamic warm up. Big deep breath in and out. One more. And let's really reach out long arms and legs. We're gonna go flat back down and round it up. We get more of our stretching at the end, but in our dynamic warm up, we just want to get everything moving, rolling through the muscles and joints. One more, and bring it up, and let's do some reaches across. Really reach, stretch long through the fingertips. There we go. Good. And then let's take it over your head. Excellent. And then let's bring the hamstring curls up to the back. So you're just bringing that heel up. And then let's bring the knees up. Both of these opening up those knee joints and hip flexors. And then little toy soldier kicks. So straight legs, straight arms. Don't worry if you don't actually touch. We're just stretching out those hamstrings now that everything is warm. And then just a few little twists to the side, torso rotation. So, have your dumbbells off to the side. I'm gonna use a set of eights today. It's totally fine to use whatever dumbbells you have. Certainly, if they feel too easy, go ahead and march it out. If they feel too easy, you might wanna think about going up. Remember, for women, we don't get big, bulky muscles from lifting weights. We just don't have the testosterone to do it. So, and for men, unless you're really working hard, increasing your weight a lot, and a lot of other things, you won't either. So if your goal is just to get strong and tight and toned, then it doesn't really matter what weight you're losing as long as you're feeling it in the muscles. So if it feels too easy, go up. Too hard, you can always drop down or alternate. I'm gonna give you lots of options for that. Okay, so each circuit, we're gonna start with a little mini cardio interval. So we're gonna start our first circuit with just a really basic step touch. Again, like I said, everything we're doing, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest in between, and we'll try to keep that rest an active rest, but certainly grab water if you need it. Okay, so starting with a basic step touch, then we're gonna go into a squat, then we're gonna go into a row, then we're gonna do a standing crunch. So the second three, the second three, the last three are with the dumbbells. Okay, so no weights for this first one. Step touch, 45 seconds of work, 15, here we go. So we're just stepping to the side. So with everything in this workout, I'm gonna give you options to keep it low impact, just like this. And even if you need to go a little bit slower, that's totally fine. Or take it up to a little hop step touch. So if you can be here and add a little more of a jump, it's gonna drive that heart rate up a little bit more, but certainly work to your level. So whatever your fitness level is, if it's here, if it's here, if it's here, you can even cover the space. And if you really want to take it up, you can do big hops. We got only about 10 seconds to go. You work to your level. Keep breathing. Good posture. Abs in tight for four, three, two, and tap it out. So we got 15 seconds. Go ahead and grab your dumbbells. Very important. Want to make sure that you bend your knees to get them. What we don't want to do is bend in the back to pick up our dumbbells. So starting with the squat, I'm gonna show you from the side first. Dumbbells to the side, sitting low, like you're sitting in a chair. Join me here. So I'm driving those hips to the back. I'm trying to get as low as I can. My chest is gonna come forward a little bit, but what I'm not doing is dropping here. So if you see your eyes looking down, bring them up. Look at that wall in front of you, or I guess maybe you're looking at me on your computer or iPad or phone. Push through those heels, squeeze at the top. So we're here, 
And I should say too, if any of this stuff starts to feel like too much, you can always drop your dumbbells and just do the motions. If you're just here to learn form, that's a great way to do it. We've only got five seconds. Drive through the heels. Good, and relax. So let's hang on to these dumbbells. The next one is a bend of a row. So what we're gonna do, turn to the side, roll the shoulders back, almost like you're arching, bend at the knees, flat back down. We're gonna do a row from here, so join me here. Same idea, what we don't wanna do is round in the back. So keep the eyes up, squeeze in the shoulder blades. I'm gonna show you a little trick, you guys stay here. If it starts to feel like too much, like you're, you're feeling in your lower back, come all the way down on your hands and knees, and you can just alternate from here. This is gonna help you keep your back flat. So this is a little modification if you wanna go here, but if you can, let's try it from that standing position. We've got about 15 seconds to go. Keep squeezing in the shoulder blades. Everything in this workout, we're only going through once. So certainly, if you need more of a workout, you can come back to it. And we're gonna go four, and three, and two, and tap it out. Good work, guys. So last one in the circuit, drop one dumbbell down. We're gonna do a little standing crunch. So holding the dumbbell at your chest, bringing the knee towards the chest, looking just like this. Join me right here, pull it in. So as if we're on the mat doing a crunch, I want you to really contract in the abs. Pull the belly button in. Having the weight is just making us contract a little bit more. A little bit of arm work too, holding it. If you want a little extra arm work, you can raise it just a bit but I wanna make sure you're still getting that contraction. Also should keep that heart rate up as all of these exercises will do. So we're always getting cardio. Even though we have our separate cardio intervals, that's more to just give us a little break from holding the dumbbells. But all of these workouts and most of the workouts on my channel are gonna get your heart rate up for cardio as well. Even when we're doing strength. Last one right here and breathe. So dumbbells to the side, tap it out. So you have one minute of rest in between. If you wanna grab a sip of water, if you can, but if you want a little extra cardio, just go right back to that step touch. During this minute, and remember you can be here too, I'm gonna to show you our next moves. So first we'll go with our cardio move and we're just gonna do tap backs. So I'll give you several options to take it to a little higher or to take it a little lower. You all have lots of, lots of options. That's your cardio move. Our next one, we're gonna do your basic lunges with the dumbbells. So nice and wide, dropping down in a lunge. We'll go right, we'll go left. Our move after that, we're gonna go curl into a press. So biceps and shoulders all through the arms. Curl and press. You keep moving, we're almost there. And then we're gonna do a little twist crunch with the dumbbell like this, elbow to knee. So another standing ab move but using the dumbbell. Okay, so go ahead, dumbbells can stay to the side because we're gonna start with your cardio. We're starting in about 10 seconds. You can take a little breather if you were doing the cardio during the break. Starting with these little tap backs in three, two, and tap it back here. So hands up high in front. Again, you can go nice and slow or if you're feeling good about it, you can take up your pace a little bit or keep it low impact, but you're going a little higher. Up to you, we're just tapping back, hands out in front. There we go. And if you really want a higher, higher intensity option, you can do those little skiers that we've done before. So it's up to you. All of these cardio moves have lots of options to work to your level. We're all at different fitness levels, right? We got only about five seconds to go. Keep breathing for four, three, two, and relax. Bend your knees to grab those dumbbells. Drop it down. We're gonna put the right foot forward, left foot back. I'm gonna show you from the side. We're gonna come into a lunge. So think 90 degrees both ways. It's okay to come forward a little bit. Drop it down in the lunge. Here we go. So what I mean by that is we don't wanna lean too far forward and put all the pressure in the front of the knee, but it can go a little bit towards the toe. What that's gonna do is take the loading off the knee and we're gonna push into the heel so we get lots of hamstrings and glutes, the back of the leg. So we're here, push it up. Dumbbells can stay right by the sides. Certainly, 
There are different options in other workouts and other videos where we take them up on our shoulders. But for now, just keeping it basic, just making sure that the dumbbells don't pull us forward. So eyes up, shoulders back, pushing the heel. We got five seconds and breathe and relax. Tap it out. We're just gonna turn ourselves right around. Same thing, other leg. I know the legs are a little tired from that first one. So left one forward, right one back, shoulders back. Again, dropping down, pushing through the heel, staying up on that back toe. Here we go. Dumbbells right by your sides. Keep breathing. Abs are pulled in. Take your time. If this feels like too much for your knees, you can always just take it small. Keep that bend mostly in that front leg. But if you can, the lower you get, the better it actually is on our knees because we get more recruitment of those muscles in the back of the legs and our butts. Those glute muscles are big and strong. Here we go. We've got just about five seconds. Drive through the heel and breathe. Last one. Tap it out. Okay, remember what's next? Our curl and our press. So with the curl, elbows in, we're gonna curl up to the chest. We're gonna rotate out, press up to the sky, back in and down. Join me right here. Up and up, down and down. Up and up and breathe. So it's gonna feel a little heavier on the press. Those are smaller muscles. We're going over the head, tends to be a little bit tougher. So don't worry if you need to shorten your range of motion or you can always alternate. So I would just go right, bring it all the way up, and then left. Totally fine. We are almost done. Feel free to alternate or keep them together. If you're alternating though, really pay attention to making sure that you're pulling in your core so we're not leaning. Five seconds, up and up, down and down. Last one, and relax. Good. So we're gonna drop one of our dumbbells down. We're gonna go into our side twist, our little twist crunch from the standing position. So holding at your chest, here we go. Watch me, elbow to knee. Twist, twist. So really trying to touch if you can. I know that's hard with flexibility. So don't worry if you can't. Just think elbow and shoulder going towards the knee, knee coming to your chest. Little contraction again. You want a little more arms, you can bring it up at the top or just keep it center. But really think more, it's an ab move. So think about that ab contraction coming in and twisting. Just about 10 seconds. You guys are doing great. Breathe. For four, three, two, and relax. Drop it down, guys. You did it. That was our second circuit. So you have one minute of rest. If you want, you can go back to those tap backs. You wanna grab a sip of water? You can. Remember, you can also be here. Little skier or quick ones, up to you. I'm gonna grab a sip, and then I'm gonna show you our next moves. We've only got two more circuits left. So we'll start with some very basic knee raises for cardio. I'll give you options for that. We're gonna go to our plie squat, holding the dumbbells, dropping down plie, just toes are out, or sumo squat it's sometimes called. We're gonna go to an overhead triceps. So it's gonna be here, our elbows are in. I'm gonna give you options to do it with two dumbbells or just to hold one between the two to really target the back of the arms. And then we're gonna do a little abs. We're gonna do a little side bend with the dumbbell. So and I'll give you a couple of options on that as well. So keep breathing, we got about 15 seconds. Maybe you're still doing your taps for cardio. Go ahead and grab your dumbbells. Starting, oh, no, don't grab your dumbbells. I lied. <laughs> Just get ready, tap it out. Let's go knee raises. Here we go. You can tell, since I, since I had my baby several months ago, sometimes my brain, whew, you moms know, you understand. <laughs> Here we go. So knees are coming up. This is your lowest impact option. Again, whatever speed you want. If you want, you can take it to a little jump, a little extra cardio. If you've got the endurance for that, I know you just did some cardio. Or you can even go high knees, bring them up. 
up to you. Any of those options will do, whatever your intensity level. If you're working, that's all that I care about. If you're moving, you're working hard. You got five seconds, keep breathing. Jump it if you want for four, three, two, and tap. Good guys, go ahead and grab your dumbbells. Remember, bend your knees to do it. Don't bend from the back. Coming into the plie squat, toes are out. We're gonna rest the dumbbells right in the legs. This is my favorite place to have them. Drop it low, squeeze it up. Certainly, if it feels better for you to hold them down in the center, that's fine too. I like to just sort of rest them right on the top of the legs, squeezing up through the inner thighs, through the glutes. If this bothers your knees, you can go back to that regular squat we did in the first circuit. Totally fine if you wanna go there, squeeze it up. Here we go. So like our other leg moves, all of our moves really, making sure that we have a nice good posture. We're not letting our chest drop, keeping those eyes up, rolling the shoulders back, pulling the core in tight. So we're squeezing in those abs the whole time for three, two, and one. Good. So our next move, overhead tricep. So watch me closely. If you have two, we're gonna bring them up. My elbows stay in. Watch me, I'm gonna put one foot back and we're gonna come behind the head. If you've got a heavier dumbbell, you can grab one and same thing. Here we go, guys. Behind the head, extend it up. The most important parts of this move are to keep those elbows in close to your head and try to go down as far as you can. So you'll still feel them even if you go halfway, but if you want the most from this move, drop it down, extend it up. So again, it doesn't matter if you have them both or if you have just one, whatever works best for you, or you can even get to this halfway point we just passed and switch down to one or switch up to two if it's feeling too easy. But again, elbows in, extend it up. Having this foot back here is just helping us from arching our back. Here we go for three, two, and one, and relax. Good job, guys, that's a tricky one. Let's go ahead and drop one of our dumbbells down. We're gonna go into our little side bend. So working the obliques, we're gonna start here, halfway through, we're gonna reach it over. So hand just sort of right by your ears, behind your head, down and up. So the movement is straight through the torso. I'm not bending in my knees or my legs. I'm just going down here to here. Go as far as is comfortable for you. It's a great move because it feels kind of relaxing, right? It's not super hard. You're not gonna feel crazy burn in the muscles. Let's go ahead and reach it over. It's gonna give you a little stretch, especially right here but it is working these oblique and the core muscles. This is a great move if you're really tired from a certain exercise and you wanna keep moving, you can throw in this little side bend. You'll notice that's when I do it a lot in my videos. So we're working the core, last one. And breathe, tap it out. Working the core, but again, also building in a little tiny bit of a break. So we're going to that other side, starting with that opposite hand, up by your ears, behind the head. Little bend, we'll start here, take it down, bring it up. Halfway through, we'll reach it over. Let go. And again, the movements in the torso, I'm not moving the hips or the legs, and keeping it through here, everything's in tight. Breathing, there we go. And we're right at that halfway point, it's right about now, so let's go ahead and reach and bring it up. Reach. Even when we're reaching, we're still keeping it in the torso, trying not to move from the legs or the hips. A little more of a stretch this way. Three, 10 seconds to go. Right? Heart rates come down a little bit, but don't worry, we're about to get them right back up into our last circuit. We're so close. And relax. So go ahead and drop that dumbbell down, bend your knees. So we're in our last minute of rest before we go into our last circuit. So if you want, go back to those knee raises. If you need more of a rest, take a break, grab a sip of water, or just do little taps or marches, it's up to you. Here are our last moves. First, cardio move, we're gonna do a little speed skater. So step, tap behind, step, tap behind. You can go really low impact here, or you can take it a little more of a jump, or you can even touch it down. I'm gonna give you all of those options. 
Make sure your dumbbells are out of the way where you're not gonna step on them. Keep your eyes on them, make sure they're in front. Next move, we're gonna go side lunge. So side lunge is a little bit tricky. We're gonna step out wide. Dumbbells are gonna come on either side of our knee. Straight leg, bent leg, drive the hips back, push off this bent leg, bring it up. Next move, we're gonna go down to the mat. I'm gonna try to show you this quick. Chest press, we're gonna go here. Basic chest press, and then we'll go to one dumbbell, and we'll do a little Russian twist. That's it, guys. All right, go ahead and breathe. We're starting with our speed skater. If you need to move those dumbbells out of the way, safety first, make sure you're not gonna step on them. Here we go, speed skater. So you can just step, tap behind, and don't get too hung up on this move. If this move ends up being a step touch, that is fine with me. I just wanna give you a little bit of variety, but sometimes people get really in their heads about making sure they're doing it right. For cardio stuff, guys, you know my rules. Stay safe, keep moving. So if you want, take it to a little more of a jump and drop down, you'll get a little more legs. You know, our legs are tired, we've been working hard. We're on that last circuit, so feel free to just tap behind if you want, or take it to a jump, but keep it upright. Fine, too. Five seconds, keep breathing. Three, two, and one. Excellent, guys. Last time with those dumbbells. Bend the knees, pick them up. Side lunge, we'll start to my right, maybe your left. Left leg is gonna stay straight, right leg is gonna bend. Here we go. Drop it down, dumbbells on either side, push off. Same rules, chest lifted, shoulders back. Even though, I'll show you from this side, we're dropping the chest and making sure I'm not going here. So I'm pushing out of that outer thigh and the glute. It's nice, you get a little stretch in that opposite leg, but lots of work in that bent leg. So really drop it low, drive the hips back, and push out of that bent leg that you're stepping to that side. 10 seconds to go, keep breathing. Here we go, for four, three, two, Tap it out, good, excellent guys. We're gonna switch it to the other side. Other leg is bending, other leg is straight. Roll those shoulders back. Remember to get the dumbbells on either side of the knee, pushing out of that outer thigh and glute. And three, two, one, here we go. Step it out, push off. I love the side lunge, such a good move. One, we always wanna have lateral movement in our workouts, because if we think about it, most of our work, most of the things we do day to day, forward motion, right? So we're working laterally, so good for our joints, for our hips, for our knees, for flexibility, and also good for toning. We don't wanna be working the muscles the same way. We wanna always be working in different planes of motion. Got about 10 seconds, keep getting low, drop those hips, push out. Drop the hips as we drive them to the back for three, two, one. It's our last move up top. Let's go ahead and gently take it down to your mat or soft space. Take your time coming down. We're just gonna bring our feet in, knees about shoulder width apart. We're coming here, guys, for a basic chest press. Join me here, up and in, down and out. So I'm pulling my abs in tight, I'm bringing the dumbbells up at the top, elbows come down level with my shoulders, just down to the floor. Abs are in, really tighten in the core so your core stays working. Just like everything else, if it starts to feel too heavy, you can always go one at a time. So you can either do that from the top or from the bottom. You'll feel them both ways, it's up to you, but if you can, keep pressing up and down. This is hard to do at the end of the workout. A lot of muscles working, five seconds. Keep breathing for three, two, one, and relax. Drop the dumbbells to the side. Slowly come up to a seated position. This is our last move, guys. Grab one dumbbell right in the center, abs pulled in. I'm just gonna tap it down to the side, up to center. Join me here, this is your Russian twist. So you have a few different options. First option, of course, is if you feel that too much in your back, drop the dumbbell and just go side to side using just your body weight. But if that's feeling good, keep it there. If you want more of a challenge, feet up, 
And you can even add those knees to the opposite side. Up to you. And if you're really feeling ambitious at the end of this workout, you can straighten out those arms a little tougher, arms and abs, but it's up to you. Any of those options will do. So close to being done. Quick little dumbbell workout using circuits, getting the heart rate up, working those muscles, and relax. Drop the dumbbell to the side, knees out, little stretch. You guys did great. So just let your knees drop to the side and just kind of breathe into that. Let your head drop. Whoo. And go ahead and put those feet out in front. This is tough, I know. A lot of us are not flexible, myself included. Flex those feet, reach those hands up, and just fold over as far as you can for you. It doesn't matter if it's here, if it's here, if it's here, but wherever you are, let's take a few deep breaths and every exhale, just sink a little deeper. Breathe in, breathe out. Head drop too, so you stretch your neck. And relax. And turn to the front. Reach those hands forward, chin to your chest. As always, get more of a stretch and a cool down if you need to. We're keeping it kind of simple. Arms up the top, really reach long. Thumbs to the back, grab behind, and squeeze. And one big deep breath in. And out. You did it, guys. That was your full body dumbbell circuit workout. Great job, everybody.